Hi guys, it's Frey Martin here for Abridge Media and I'm here with Jay Dan. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those who don't know. Well, I'm Jay Gang, straight out of Brixton. I've been known as Gang, Summerlayton's finest. Where did the name come from? Well, Jay Gang come from, well, my first name begins with a J, and the gang come from the elders on my state, basically saying, you're a one-man army, you're always on your own stuff. Yeah. You get me? You roll on your own. So they gave me the name Gang. So the name Gang is like, I am the gang. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you been rapping for? I've been rapping for, for years, you know, but I only started taking it serious like three years back. Like, everyone around me started started taking it serious like me, Five Star, Murder, um, Young Bush. Yeah, we started taking it serious and then, yeah, from there we just started pushing. Yeah, it just grew. It just grew, yeah. Alright, uh, what do you think about the scene at the moment? Well, the scene at the moment is a bit tacky like it's well. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not real enough for me, man. It's a bit, it's a bit fake, man. Yeah. It's in not, what ways, though? In what ways? It's just like, everyone's just bum licking, like, you get me? Everyone's just up each other's asses. I'm not with that funny stuff, like, no one, like, people are just, because he gets this much views, ah, oh, yeah. He's the realest thing going. Yeah. Ah, uh, this guy, he's doing that, so he must be that. Like, there's a lot of people that I know. They get low views, and they're better than majority of these people. That's that's taking that next level step to get to fame. Like, yeah. you know, what, you know what I mean. Like, there's a lot of people, bro. but these people that's getting hundred thousand views, two hundred thousand views. Some people's even paying for views. Yeah. yeah? It's like, they can, they can, what's it called? They can, anyone, now I can go on YouTube right now and um, type in, how do I cook crack? <laughs> All right, cool. If I type in how I cook crack now, he's going to show me how I cook crack. <laughs> then I could put that in my lyrics. Yeah. Then I could say, oh, how much is red bottoms or whatever? I could even buy a fake pair of red bottoms, be in the video, putting my fucking feet up. Yeah? yeah? Exactly. But then I'm the realest. I'm balling. I could get a rental. A lot of people are on this, um, getting this uni, whatever, loan, whatever, <laughs> and just splashing and living that fake life and then start rapping. And then everyone's saying they're the realest thing. Yeah. It's fake. That's what I'm saying. It's too fake. Anyone can do it now. Yeah. That's the state of the game now. It's not real enough. Like, the real people ain't getting the recognition that they need. Yeah, it's me just like, sorry to cut you, it's just like well, D block. <laughs> it's just like D block. They're real. Yeah, like Styles P and that. Look at the position that they're in. They're never going to get to the place that they want to be because they're too real. Do you get it? Yeah. When you I start doing you. funny shit like Young Fuck, mm. look at you go. Yeah? <laughs> Wearing fucking kids' dresses. This is yeah. what I'm trying to say. But his music's wavy. It's confusing. He yeah. paints his nose and he's got a gun. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Me, personally, I think, like, from what I've seen, it's more about the visuals than the actual lyrics and what they're trying to get across from what I've seen. What do you mean, the visuals? Like Honestly. girls, cars, all of that stuff? No, like when people are trying to like put out their music. It's like they know that good visuals are gonna get more views. Okay. Rather than what they're actually trying to put out. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It kinda links in. Kind of. Well that's kind of. Well, <laughs> That is what today is. Is a facade. It's all fake. Man, get a rental. They're so clearly balling. Exactly. Yeah? That it's not even their cars. It's not even that. Like, exactly. It's all rentals. Yeah. It's rental. <laughs> rentals. Red bottoms. Balmain jeans. All of that stuff. You know Kenzo me. Jumpers. Listen to my stuff. I don't wear none of them things. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear. Them. Look at my videos. None of them are polished. They're just me by myself. Gritty. Just doing, just greedy. It's just how I really live. 
I don't yeah. do all of that funny stuff. I don't really like doing the rental stuff. It's just for, I just feel like I'm being fake to myself. Yeah. Obviously, it looks good sometimes, but my videos are going to start being weird. What do you mean? I don't know. Way? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just going to start doing some mad shit. Yeah. Like it's not going to be, uh, yeah, gang's in the rental. Yeah, he's in the penthouse. Yeah. No. Be, I might be on a farm with some cows, <laughs> freaking kicking man, them or something, doing crazy. something, man. You never know. I don't know. So saying that, what do you think makes you different from these other artists that are out here? If you listen to my music, yeah, it's just like even if I spit on the same beat as someone, mm -hmm. when I spit on the beat, yeah, it just comes across different because I don't. I don't listen to someone's music and say, oh, yeah, I need to spit like that. Soon as I go into the booth, I just do what I do, yeah? It's me, innit? Like, I'm authentic. I'm raw. I'm real. I just say it how it is, yeah? That's the difference between me and these other guys. These other guys will listen to someone else and say, oh, yeah, I need to spit like that. Like, my music's very up and down. Like, it's mad. Like, the way I rap is mad. I rap on and off beat. So it just depends on like what you're feeling at the time. Yeah, I I feel the music. If I put if you put an instrumental now, I'm gonna feel the mu. If I feel the music, like automatically, factual stuff comes in my brain. What yeah. goes on in my life, and then I will just I'm like Picasso, man. I'm an <laughs> artist, man. I'll just you get me do my <laughs> wonders on the beat. Shit. Yeah. I hear you. So you've been putting in the work, why do you think you haven't been on like a fire in the booth or you haven't been called in for a Westwood crib session? To be honest with you, yeah, reason be it, I, well, I can't, I can't say that is 100% this, what I'm going to tell you now, yeah. but it's my thoughts of the game, innit? My views ain't as much as these other guys, yeah? yeah? So... This thing is a, a is a using thing, and everyone's using each other. So, I've been on a fire in the streets. Yeah, that's by Charlie Stuff. Is a um, partner Zach or Zach? I forgot his second name. He hollered at me from fire in the um, streets. Yeah. I've done it now. Shelled it down. Yeah. I got good feedback. Comments was good. Everything. Yeah. Then, like months later, months later, I'm saying, what's going on, like? What's yeah. Charlie say, say it, man? <laughs> man saying, um, Charlie will come for you at the right time, like he's fucking the Oracle, or the, mm. that this is the Matrix, bro. I'm like, what are you talking about? What do you mean come for me at, at the right time? When is the right time? You get me? Exactly. So it must be the views, because the views wasn't fitting this criteria of him putting me on radio one extra, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. He said he'll come for you at the right time. It still hasn't been the right time, yeah? So I don't know in it, and probably because I'm a rebel, and I just say it how it is. I don't really care. Yeah. I don't. I don't condone it. Funny, funny, funny business. Charlie stuff. Hundred percent knows about me from when he he's put Young Bush on one extra. Yeah. Cause if you know about Young Bush, you know about me. If you know about me, you know about Young Bush. So I just I just put it down to to views. And that type of stuff. And is it... They're letting down the game, really. Because yeah. they're not even giving back. They're not even saying, all right, cool. Once a month, I'm going to listen to some underground person that I like. Do you get it? Because they get added stuff all the time. Yeah. They don't give no one a chance. You have to have views. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so if you know you have to have views, that's why people start being fake now, again. And start buying views now thinking, oh, yeah, this might work. Do you mm. get it? Mm. I'm telling you, a lot of people buying views. From what you're saying, I'm, like, getting the picture that it's all calculated. It's all about strategy yeah, rather all, than actual it's, talent. It's all about actual... strategy. It's all about money. It's all about how they can make money off you, uh, how you can make them money. Mm. Nah, that's what it's about. They, they don't care if you're... They, there is people out there that can sing, like, fucking... I don't know. The, your best singer, yeah? yeah and they got <laughs> low views, yeah? Yeah. And they're not getting a chance. Exactly. You get me? And Charlie Soft and one of them, they'll probably say, oh, they're all right. But yeah. they're saying they're all right because of the views. If I had done a tune now, 
and it hit a mill, I guarantee all these people will be hollering. Exactly. No, yeah? I'm on your Can I tell you that you. right now? Because I, I done my first show in the O2, Big Up Show Splash. And I, I shelled it down. After that, all of these shows, oh, yeah, gang, I need to get you on this thing on the payroll. All of these things happening. That's because seeing is believing. Yeah? They see that. That's going mad. They're trying to use me now because they see the crowd going mad. They, they, they see money. Mm. Okay, maybe gang can bring some people here. You can maybe bring an extra 200 people here. Or, you know, you, you get what I mean? Yeah. So it's always a, it's a using thing. Tim Westwood, yeah, I've done, I've been on Crip Session, but it wasn't my Crip Session. It was Belzy's Crip Session. Mm. He brought me there as a, as a guest, as a guess. yeah? It's not my Crip Session. So Tim Westwood knows me. Yeah, I've done well in that Crip Session too. He's not hollered at me. He's hollered at Belzy. You get it? Mm. So it's like, what, what is going on there? Are you gay? Like, what the Confusion. fuck is this? Like, what is, what is this? <laughs> like, do you want me to fucking see you at your show and then... Headlock you and give you my CD <laughs> and say, what's going on here? Mm. But obviously, big up him, he's doing his thing. But, like, in due time, they're going to have to holler, like, you get it? Because yeah. I'm just going to come there as a guest again and I'm going to page him, like, because I know all of these artists. All of these artists that are up there, majority of them, I know them. So like I could, who? I don't need to say no names. No names. <laughs> but I know them. They yeah. know me, I know them. So if they have a crypt and say, right, I'm rolling, they're not going to say, nah, again, you can't roll. So I could just go there and say, so what's going on, Wes? What happened? You don't, you're not really in my music. Mm. Like, what the, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> but it's cool in due time anyway. Big up them in due time. Things will happen. Maybe, hopefully, I get more views. I'll never buy views. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm with you on that. Never. That's why <laughs> my views are authentic. They're authentic views. If you see 50 foul, that is 50 foul people must have watched that. Yeah. Because I didn't do nothing to it. Did you no. get it? So that's you. it. I see a lot of people's views. There's 500, I don't know. And it, it, it's mad because I see people with millions of views and they ain't got a million pound. Mm. How? You're putting a million views and you're putting a single out, you ain't even got a million pound. Mm. So what's going on there? Is it a bit dodgy? It's, it's a bit dodgy. It's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> I bit don't dodgy. know. I think it's a little bit dodgy, but... I agree with you. Maybe. So do you think there's a lot of artists out right now getting the recognition you should be getting? And if so, why? Of course there is. Majority of these rappers, yeah, like, I should be there. You get it? 100%. But because I don't really care about music, music's a hobby to me. I, I like doing music in my spare time. As it should be. I like music. Do you get it? Mm. I like, I listen, people think that I'm mad. People see me in traffic playing my own music and they're like, well, gang, you play your own music, you're a bit <laughs> mad. I say, I like, that. this is me. I love me. Yeah, I like my own music, I play my own music. There's a lot of people that's, they've gone far by just being fake. Yeah. By just being, oh, yeah, 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 this guy. I don't do that stuff. So, I live my life like this, innit? This is how, how I do my thing, innit? Even in the music. I could be in the music. If I'm your friend, yeah, and one of these guys has done a tune or whatever, yeah, but you say, ah, oh, yeah, that guy, that guy robbed my auntie or whatever, some shit like that. Just because he gets a million views, I'm not going to say, ah, oh, it's a platform for me though, babe. What? What are we going to do? Yeah. I'm going to say, fuck him. <laughs> you get it? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. You've done a wrong to my people. I'm not going to do nothing with you, but ah, uh, gang, no. No, but get, I'm a, I've got pride and principles. That's my thing. That's why I won't get as far as I'm meant to get. Mm. Because people put a lot of things aside just for the music and yeah. just for a step to get to that fame. Do you get it? That's how it is. Though. I will never do that. That's why I'll probably stay like this. Mm. And I don't care. Because music's a hobby to me at the end of the day. If I get further, then there's a bonus. But that is not where my life, that's not my life. Yeah. yeah. Because it doesn't, it doesn't bring me money like that. So I'm meant to live. I'm meant to stop everything I'm doing and focus on the music. Exactly. Fuck I love that. that. <laughs> I'll That's never good. do that, yeah? I'll stay as a rebel and I will push 
sooner or later, you never know. Next year I might pull a banger out the hat and then it's just fuck, they're finished, they have to fuck me. You never know, that's how it happens. You never know. Time. On this, don't worry man, I'm gonna give you like my new CD. There's bangers on there. Different music though. If you listen to my catalogue of music, it's mad, it's raw, isn't it? But I've got girl tunes on it, everything. So hopefully I can push through. Yeah. That's good though. Tell us a little bit about your new tape that's coming up. Well, the new tape is mad. I I think this is my favourite tape. This one here. Why is that? Because it's just different. Like I've jumped out the box, jumped back in the box, I've looked outside and looked in. Did you get it? Yeah. And I could see the difference. I, I could see everything that these rappers do. I can do. So what the fuck, bruh? You know that? Like anything, I've used all old tunes on there. I've done girl tunes on there. I've done tunes that like fucking Romeo and Juliet, but not no corny shit. Yeah, road shit. Yeah, bruv. So I've done everything on there, what these other rappers do. You yeah. get me? I'm better because my thing's always better. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just, it's, that's just how it is, man. Are there any features on your new tape? Yeah, I've got, um, Name a few. Traps. Trizzy Traps. I've got, um, Murder, Belzy, Talent, um, who else have I got on there? Jeff Jones, Forza. Like a lot of these people, you might not know them. Yeah. <laughs> you get? You might yeah. know Trizzy Traps, yeah, because he's, you get me? He's up there. That's my brother. Belzy, he's old school. Murder, he's from my state. But these other, I like to fuck with people that are just real. Yeah. And they don't have to be known. They don't have to fake it. Nah, they don't have to be known though. Honestly. I don't have to, that's what I'm saying, a lot of people won't bring out a CD unless they got this man that got that views or that man that's got that rental or this man that's got that watch or my thing's not like that. My yeah. thing is, if you're real and you're my friend, you can jump on the tape. Yeah. I got my cousin on the tape. You know that? He doesn't even do music like that. Yeah. Did you get it? So it's like, yeah, I don't mind. I, my nephew's made most of the beats. That's good. You understand? That's so. Real. That's my thing. I don't. You don't need to be known to be on my. I've hollered. I hollered at a couple people, but, but my thing. No, they didn't decline, but they have being fake. Yeah. Do you get it? So when I'm hollering at man and I'm saying, "Raw, what were you saying? I got a tape coming. What you want to jump on the tape? Yeah, gang. Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me the thing. I send me <laughs> the thing. I was like, ah, yeah, man. This is hard. <laughs> All right, so they cool. jumped on I'm, it. They they soakily jumped on it, but I ain't got the email. So I yeah. said, it's cool. <laughs> I ain't got time. I'm not gonna. You're not my girlfriend. I'm not gonna run you down. Yeah. Uh, it, it just is what it is. I'm. I don't care. I just leave you as that. I just won't ask you for nothing again. I ain't got time. Me, I'm a person that my patience. I ain't got the patience for it. I can't wait mm. for you. Like, what the fuck am I waiting? Yeah. Because I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to these guys. Any guy that's asked me for a feature, yeah, that I know, and they're proper people. I've done it. Yeah. I've made the time to do it. No one could ever say they're too busy. I, I trust me, believe me. You can't ever say you're too busy. You're the fuck's too busy. Yeah. You you can't be too too busy. It's true. How? <laughs> Who the fuck true. are you? <laughs> to be too too busy. To even look at your phone or to to, to take time out to go studio. I go studio late hours, mm. like maybe two in the morning or whenever when my day's done basically. So what? Uh, people can't do that. But if Jay Z was to all like them, they will make the time. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP like... or if, if this next person, they, you get me. But you say it's not. It might not be beneficial for them. They yeah. might want to ask me for some money or something, but they know that they can't ask me for that. Yeah. Do you get? It? And they're thinking this is not really <laughs> beneficial for me. Gang gonna give me no dough for this. You know that? This guy's giving me this money. You know that? I don't know. Mm. But. A lot of people will say yeah and then do the avoiding thing. But me, I'll phone you once and that's it. Mm. If I have to ask you to do something and I phoned you and you said, yeah, gang, phone me back, where and I phoned you back, you don't pick up, I know automatically that you don't want to do it. Exactly. So I'm not going to phone you back. I'm going to leave you to it. Yeah, I make you feel funny in your own skin. I'm not going to feel funny in my skin because mm. I just know I'm not going to fuck with you mm. because you're fake. 
You get me? You're not real. If you was real, you would just say, gang, you know what? I got people, I don't even want to say their name, in this music thing, and I've sent them certain things saying, gang, I don't even like that tune. Mm. Send me a next thing. Or furthermore, come you pattern this thing. Do you get it? Yeah. That is real. Because they're saying it how it is. They're not scared of your reaction. Do you get it? True. I only can fuck with people that's not scared of my reaction. Why the fuck are you going to be scared if I'm going to... What if I'm going to bully you to fucking do the tune? If you say, ah, oh, you don't like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You're not going to like every tune. Exactly. You just you say it how it is. Say it how it is. Fuck me, you say how it is and we'll be mates, right? Honestly. That's it. So from your experience in the industry, do you have any advice that you would give to the people that are up and coming? The people that are up and coming? I'd, boy. Just be yourself, bro. You have to be yourself. I, that's how I see it. You have to be yourself. Don't follow people. Just be yourself. Follow your instincts and your inner soul. Follow what your brain told you to do, man. You get me? Yeah. Follow your gut feeling. Do your what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> just follow what you want to do. If you feel like you want to do a song this way, fuck what the people think, man. Do you get it? I don't yeah. care what the people... When I bring up music, I swear to you, I don't care if they like it or not. Mm. But I do care, but I don't. Do you get it? I totally you get it. You get what I mean? I don't really care. Face. If they don't like it, I like it. Exactly. But That's anything I, I bring out, they seem to like it. Do you get it? So they're on my page, basically. But Regardless. I don't do a song like, oh, these people might not like this song, you know. I've got to scrap it. No, mm. I never ever think like that. I just, if I feel it, I feel it. And if I don't feel it, I scrap it myself. Mm. Do you get it? I'm not going to bring it out. But for the people that want to come into this music thing, for one, there's not really money in it like that, mm. yeah? Because everyone's ever, everyone gets money from shows. Yeah. You get it? Don't really get money from music sales, really, like, mm. like that. You get me? People don't really buy music. Everyone, everyone um, rips it off the internet. Yeah. Converter and Definitely. all of that type of shit. You get me? There's always ways around to get the music. Do you get it? Like, if you, boy, there's money in DVDs. Like I brought out a DVD called UK Madness. I made numbers on that. That was all independent, hard copies. Mm. Shit like that makes money. You get it? But yeah. the music, like, that's funny shit. Is that it's got real life in there. It's got, it's got music in there. It's got, like, funny shit in there. It's got me helping the homeless on there. Mm. It's got fucking crackheads on there. That's real <laughs> life. Cause it's real life. Crackheads are everywhere. Do you get me? You've got crackheads, you've got funny people in there. It's just a real life DVD. No one really does DVDs no more. Yeah, exactly. Do you get it? But the music, if you're going to get into the music, just make sure you're doing it as a hobby. Maybe you might get signed, I don't know. But you don't look at it like, oh, I want to put my all into this fucking music. I want to quit my job. Don't do none of that shit. Because yeah. then you're just going to be disappointed. Yeah, it's hard. You definitely have to put in the work. To conclude, what can we look at that's coming from you? Well, um, Don't Care, Won't Care is already out. It's out now. UK Madness DVD is out now. And if you buy a hard copy of um, Don't Care, Won't Care, you get the DVD free. Yeah? <laughs> Six pound. I'm giving back. Black Friday fucking Christmas deal. Yeah? Call me Santa. Gang. Yeah? All of that together. Um, 2017, I'm going to work on more songs like that like I've this trap rat is uh, that I've conquered that. That's yeah. light. You're on to the next. If you ask my nephew, my producer, I go into the booth and I just bang that out in half an hour. It's quick. It's just easy. It's just it's like cheating. But yeah, I I need some different music. Like I'm gonna f start fucking with some singers. Yeah, mm. I might try and do some fucking poetry. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. But I'm gonna do some some left shit yeah. in 2017 that's my aim really music but music's hobby like i'm just gonna play with the game man yeah just gonna fuck about you know what i mean so there's loads for everyone to be looking out for yeah. you heard it first from a bridge media yeah. thank you guys for tuning in see you guys see you guys soon. yeah keep that in there that laugh <laughs> yeah see you guys fucking soon <laughs> yeah yeah. When I say P.R. I ain't looking family guy rise, 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 rise on the scary bang bang damage the guy Rise, rise, rise on the square feet chop chop damage the pie